So, after almost a year of not posting any content in my channel, I think this is the perfect time to return and be active again on YouTube. You know why? There are a lot of things that have happened to me in the last past 11 months. 11 months ago, I posted my last cafe blog last year at Imperfect Cafe. And that was the beginning of a new journey in my vlogging journey. Because of, after that video, I started to move from YouTube to TikTok. I used that platform because <clears throat> it was easy for me to use my phone to record and post video online. My content on TikTok is all about different uh, aesthetic coffee shop and cafes around Cambodia. Currently, I have 13,000 followers on TikTok in just one year. In the past 11 months, other things have ha happened to me. A lot of changes actually. Uh, I had, as I already told you, I had my TikTok account uh, increase it to 13,000 followers and second thing i resigned from my former school and found another international school which has a better offer i was able to buy a rickshaw <coughs> tuk -tuk, for my daughter's transport service every day to school also uh, for the number four uh, i uh, speaking of my daughter, she's four years old now and currently studying it in one of the Christian schools here in the city. Another one, I have bought some uh, other equipment for my workout and also a new 50 inch TV. On the top of all of these blessings I had in the past 11 months, I am very thankful for those people I met, like Edwin, my first foreigner best friend. He's from Holland or the Netherlands, and um, he's a great guy actually. Every time we talk, I always run out of words to say, and then when I can't speak anymore, I would just stare at him and do sign language <laughs> while my tears started to run down my face <laughs> just kidding also charlotte and james thomas <clears throat> they are like my br older brother and sister they are always there when i need them especially when sometimes i feel like things are not working as i plan they would just say just don't give up you know the word that's the best that's one of the best pieces of advice i learned from them because i can't please anyone that's true i can't please anyone so as long as i did my best i will not give yes that's it to all people who judge me and the last one is my boss that's he really made a big change into my life i've been teaching in three different schools in cambodia and i have been working since i was 21 years old but you know what i have never met a kind of boss like mr charles i don't want to compare him to my previous bosses but let me tell you this he is the first person who told me that attitude makes the difference therefore i'm gonna leave you the line the same line attitude makes the difference because i think i wouldn't achieve uh, those uh, goal that I had for the past 11 months if I have a bad attitude 
towards the people around me or to every circumstance I had. We should always have a positive attitude towards the, fail the failure of our life. We must take failures as new lesson and find good things to focus on in a bad situation. This is just the beginning. There will be more videos to come, so stay posted guys. Again, I am Kuya Bong, and this is Kuya Bong Stories.